Dear friends, here you see a tiny girl riding the heaviest motorbike that is BMW R1250 and she is enjoying the ride. I have the test and in-depth love for that particular bikes. When I started riding bikes, the first being my Royal Enfield 350cc, then 500 and so on and so forth. Now I am in the 60s but still the test is there and I am riding now V-Strom, a series of bikes, 250, 650, 800 recently launched, DE, I am going to get it, and 1050 that is, I love Suzuki, V-Strom because this is the most efficient bike at affordable price compared to the other rivals. Of course, BMW is also in my hit list. But look at this wonderful girl, how she is driving and how she is doing. She has joy and she has happiness. She is really an adventure girl. You can actually learn to mount and dismount the motorcycle while it's in motion. The reason that I like using the roller mount mechanism is because it's actually easier to mount than dismount. Is it conserves a lot of energy for me. I'm only 5'4 and I have a 27 inch inseam. Getting this bike up takes a lot of work. I don't always have enough leverage to get the bike up when I have a leg over one side of it. This isn't going to work. So rather, I can just bump the bike up with both feet on one side, put a foot on the peg, and ride away. And that requires a lot less work. It needs passion. It needs some sort of courage. And the side stand in. Stand next to the motorcycle, using your hip to balance it. Bring your left foot to the left peg. Nothing can be learned. Just look in the direction you want to be going. Engage that clutch and start the engine. If it's not already in first gear, go ahead and put it there. Use delicate and deliberate input on both the clutch and the throttle to slowly start moving forward. As soon as the bike starts moving, you have to commit and pull that foot off the ground. If you drag it behind you, you're going to lose your balance, have to stop and start again. You'll have to wait. Dear friends, thank you very much.